Tonight, we're three days away from the Music City Bowl, and guess who? Yes, UT takes on the Boilermakers. The ball's back in a bowl after failing to make one last year. 10 News reporter Vinay Simlot joins us with how fans are getting set for that big day. Vinay? John, are you ready for some football? Yeah. The Vols will play their bowl game in the Volunteer State. The Boilermakers, the Vols, Thursday at 3 in the afternoon. Fans are ready for one more game. Whatever they do, I'm going to be rooting for UT. After a year and an exciting season. I went to a good portion of the games that were at Neyland this year, and it just made me so excited just to be back. On Thursday, Eric Bales will have his checkerboard socks, his hat, a nod to former UT head coach Butch Jones, and his alarm set. Every game day, I had my alarm set to a Rocky Top, Rocky obviously. Top. Like so many Vol fans, he's excited they'll play one more game this season. <laughs> Nissan Stadium doesn't have as many seats as Neyland, but there are still a few tickets left. We found some as low as $25 or more than $300. You know, this team expected to win three or four games to winning seven with the chance to win eight. It's really unheard of. And Former UT football player and podcast host Jason Swain is hosting a tailgate in Nashville for Vol fans making the trip, Nissan Stadium is about three hours west, right off I-40. And this is Volunteer State, so we expect a dominant orange crowd, home field advantage. We at WBIR are ready, too, with our helmet that Peyton Manning signed or someone here forged his signature. And Cole Sullivan, our newsroom football fan, his bobblehead will be dressed in the Tennessee orange. Meanwhile, back at UT, Neyland gets Eric Bales ready for one last game. This one more game is always just a cap. So John, Jason Swain, the former football player you heard from, is hosting that tailgate with the UT Alumni Association. Mm -hmm. A portion of their proceeds will go towards a scholarship fund for UT students. Kids are invited too, and right now ESPN favors the Vols by five and a half points. Today's Simlot should be a fun one. Thanks yes. very much. Thursday afternoon, we'll talk about the forecast.